Three players to watch in the upcoming West Indies versus South Africa second test. Number one, Roston Chase. Should he be included? Chase only got 22 and did not pick up a wicket in the first test. And since he's returned to the side as a specialist spinner, he has only picked up six wickets in five test matches. And with the bat in hand, even though he scored 250s, has only averaged 25 in nine innings. He batted at number five in the first test. But could the West Indies be looking at someone like a Devon Thomas or even Alec Athenes to come in and provide that bit of extra stability with bat in hand in that top order? However, it is important to note that South Africa are playing two spinners on this Johannesburg pitch. And I just wonder if that may give Roston Chase the nod to be included, maybe along with a Gurukesh Moti in the second test match. Number two, West Indies captain Craig Brathwit. His last four test scores have been a bit subpar based on the standard we've grown to appreciate from the captain with just 25, 7, 11 and 0 in his last four innings. But we must note that he has been dismissed by a few chaffers, especially from Kagiso Urbada in that first test. Many will remember that brilliant 100 he scored against South Africa back in 2014 on his first tour of South African conditions against a blistering, fierce South African seam attack. So that will be motivation for him that he can score runs in these conditions. He had a brilliant 2022 where he averaged 62. And not long ago, he dominated Zimbabwe with 182 in that first test which the West Indies won. We know how important he is. And when he gets a start, the West Indies batting lineup looks like a completely different outfit. So... They'll be needing him to come good. I expect him to lead from the front and show up big in this second test match. And last but not least at number three, Alzari Joseph, the West Indies' fastest bowler, picking up his career best figures in the first test and seems like he is thoroughly enjoying South African conditions, also picking up his first five wicket haul. And it just seemed like as soon as he found his optimal length on this surface, sort of in that good length area where we saw Kagiso Rabada operate from, he just looked like a different bowler and I think if he can find that rhythm and consistency a bit earlier in this second test match he could have five six seven who knows because I see Azari Joseph as one of the most talented players in the region and someone I expect to lead this West Indies bowling attack when the Kima Roaches and the Shannon Gabriels have completed their career I think this man could hold the key for the West Indies for a long time to come in test cricket he only has two test matches after this in 2023 I think he'll close out this second test with a bang. And that's that. My three West Indies players to watch in this second test match. Who do you think will hold the key to the West Indies' success? And also, from a South African perspective, who will be important for the West Indies to overcome if they want to have a chance of evening the series? Because South Africa, of course, will be favourites to take the series and take the second test. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Let me know if you agree. Thanks for watching.